too much intellect can be just as dangerous as too much emotion. You don't want to be a drama queen, that leads to disaster. You don't want to just be intellectual, because this will also lead to disaster. Emotion and intellect are just responses, reactions of the brain to your outside world. The fact that you can be self-aware of the fact you're having feelings and thoughts means you're more than just the automatic thoughts and feelings going through your head. So too much intellect can also be dangerous, just like too much emotion. Use them wisely. So really, there's been, of course, over a thousand papers only in the last two decades on the beneficial effects of meditation on our biology, on our biochemistry. We know the metabolic rate goes down. We know that the immune system seems to optimize. We know that cortisol levels decrease, adrenaline decreases. Overall, there's a general sense of well-being. But I think what meditation also does in the brain anyway, it increases gamma synchrony. It increases the coherence in the brain other than decreasing the metabolic rate in the body and that has uh, beneficial effects. And I want to ask you, first of all, does quietening the mind enhance our ability to remember, to memory? And does sleep do that as well? Because uh, recently I've heard a lot about how you need to get out of the default mode in order to repair your body. So you have to reboot the brain. Uh, talk to me a little bit about Delta waves, default, meditation, mm -hmm. sleep, how is this so important? Well, most of us experience at any moment an internal monologue in the brain. In other words, there is a conversation. This is framing your ego. So on one hand, you have emotions, desires, you have fears that are driving you at any moment. So that those desires don't turn into addictions, so that those fears don't turn into pathological phobias, your ego is quelling everything. And it's happening all the time. In fact, it short changes your existence, really, because you know, you're limited to these words. So with meditation... You call this the default mode? Yes. When, when this is happening, your intellect is keeping your emotions in check. There's a constant internal monologue or dialogue going on in the brain. This is the default mode or default network. Of the, the computer is buzzing even though you're not using yeah, it. Yeah, you don't even know what's going on. Even, even when you daydream, that internal dialogue and, and, uh, is, is, is working together, feelings and thoughts, all part of this system of your ego that you know, keeps you sane, so to speak. <clears throat> now when you meditate, what you're doing is you're turning off that internal dialogue, you're quelling the emotions, you're quelling the thoughts that come along with those emotions, you're clearing the brain into a quiet space so that your mind can be quiet. At this point, everything is going to be much clearer. It's going to be opening channels of intuition in your brain, which many would argue is the next big part of the brain that's evolving. You know, beyond the original instinctive brain, the emotional brain, the intellectual brain, now the intuitive brain. To get to that, turn off the bandwidth. Meditation allows you to do this so you will have just a much clearer set of channels, whether you're recalling or recapitulating memories from the past or whether you're trying to imagine what you might do in the future, you're in the now, you're in the present, quiet mind, and everything will be much more acute in terms of awareness, and now you're allowing intuition to bloom in your mind through your brain. So you're rebooting your brain. You're rebooting your more brain, but that. you're also, it's more than that. You're allowing your brain to blossom mm -hmm. into what many would argue is the next stage of evolution for the brain as it ties to mind. And that is promoting intuition by turning off the noise. Mm 